Little People, Big Dreams, Josephine Baker, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara and Agatha Sorlet, illustrated by Agatha Sorlet. This is the incredible story of a girl from St. Louis named Josephine. Some would say she was born with nothing, but she had two legs made for dancing, a dazzling smile, and a free spirit, and she was going to use them. When Josephine was a little girl, white people seemed to live in another world. They made all of the rules, and these rules were very different if your skin color was black. But Josephine danced her way out of St. Louis and became a great street artist. Then a theater performer. When Josephine moved, her legs were elastic fantastic. Josephine traveled to New York and became the last dancer on the end of the chorus line. But somehow, everybody noticed her. Her movements were silly and stylish at the same time. Josephine knew that she had gone as far as a black woman could go in America at that time. So, when she was offered a job and a new show in Paris, she jumped at the chance and sailed to Europe. Just imagine how Josephine felt arriving in France. Here, black and white people lived alongside each other for the first time in her life. Josephine felt free. Josephine became a star overnight. The shimmy, the moosh, the mess around, the Charleston, all her movements were exciting. People had never seen anything like it before. First Paris and then all of Europe. Her fame grew and so did her pet collection. She shared her life with cats, dogs, fish, birds, a pig, a goat, and even a baby cheetah. Her heart was big and full of love to give. Josephine began singing and filming movies. She was the first black woman to ever star in a film. Her dazzling personality made her a total superstar. But then World War II began and half of Europe was invaded. Josephine knew she had to do something. She became a spy and smuggled secret reports in her music sheets. She was a heroine at the French Resistance. When the war ended, Josephine adopted 12 children from the four corners of the globe. She believed people of all colors could live together in harmony and wanted to prove it to everyone. But times were changing in America and Josephine returned home. She traveled to Washington and marched for civil rights along th with thousands of other people. A man named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. marched with her. And when she celebrated her 50 year career on stage, the world gave her a standing ovation. It was a long way from St. Louis for little Josephine, but she had made it in her own spectacular way.